So remember in the previous video, we changed this faucet out to something a little bit newer and sleeker. And by doing that, we left that hole on the side from where the sprayer used to be. So we're going to take care of that hole by installing a soap dispenser. You could just put a blank cover there, but the soap dispenser gives us something useful in that location. So we order one on Amazon, it costs about eight bucks, not very expensive at all. And it comes with everything you need. There's your instructions, of course the bottle and the straw. Then inside the nice protective packaging there is an actual pump. Now this is a very simple install. It should take all about really three minutes to get done. Again, the video takes longer than it does to do the job. So the tools needed for this are just your hands. So we come over to the sink, that's the hole we're going to take care of. So we take our uh, soap dispenser here, we take the pump. So we're going to take the nut off the bottom and one of the rubber washers. There are two rubber washers on here. One goes onto the top of the sink, the other one goes underneath. This will help to keep water from getting down in there because that area will get wet. And if water gets down there, it's going to get onto your dishes or it's going to get into the base of the cabinet and rot the cabinet out. Now our straw, which is attached here, goes down inside the pump in there. So what we do is we take the pump apart, it just pulls apart, and we're going to take the straw and stick it inside of there. It's going to be a little difficult, it should be a nice tight fit. You want to get it in as far as you can to make sure that it doesn't get stick, doesn't go into the base of the bottle. You also want to make sure that there's two ends of the straw, one is cut straight, the other one is cut at an angle. The angle cut goes into the bottle, the part that's cut straight goes into the pump. So that part right there goes into the bottle. So once we get our straw inside of here, then we can put this back together and go ahead and get the hole filled up. So this here is going into the hole, that's the tube. That's what mounts the pump and that's also what the bottle screws into. So we're going to put that in there. Then underneath we take our other washer and our plastic nut. Now here you kind of need a second pair of hands. You need somebody to put, hold that in place as you tighten up from underneath. So while that's in there, you take your washer, then you take the little plastic nut and get that threaded on there. Remember to start off nice and slow, sometimes go backwards sometimes until you get the threads to click to make sure you don't accidentally cross thread it. And if my helper up there will hold it still, it'll make it easier to spin this up. Go ahead and get this tightened up real quick. Just going to tighten it by hand. It'll be more than tight enough as long as the person up top is holding it hard enough. When you tighten it by hand, it should be good enough to keep it from moving while you're, you're using it. Get this nice and tight, and then we're going to grab our bottle and screw that in there also. We're only putting the bottle on right now just to test it, just to make sure that it's nice and tight, and also to thread the bottle on. Make sure the bottle isn't going to be restricted by any hoses or anything else of that nature. So once we get our bottle on there, everything looks good, we're going to take it back off, and we're going to fill our bottle with some soap, and then thread it back on there. That way we'll be able to pump our, you know, prime our pump and make sure the pump works, and then we'll go fill it off again from the top. So to install the pump part, you really just push it down in there and you just start pumping. Now as we're pumping, we're basically moving the air up out of the holes. We eventually start to suck some soap up, and now we know we're good. So now that we know it works, we'll go ahead and pull the pump back off, and then top our soap bottle off. The simplest way I found is to just leave the little squirt part on the bottle of dish soap itself instead of trying to pour it in there and just squeeze it down in there. Two or three real good squeezes might be enough to top it off. Again, you can just peek underneath the cabinet to see how full the bottle is and then you're good to go. So once we get this nice and full, we'll go ahead and throw our pump back on there, pump it again to make sure it's still good, and then that's it. So, once again, thanks for checking out my video. Uh, please check out my other videos. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And then also there's a notification bell I forgot to tell you all about. That way you know when my next video comes out. Looking forward to the next project, which I think will be something electrical again.